vent real quick, nigga listen to me Niggas play that they can't go to sleep Damn. Yeah, they know I'm a menace, why they fuckin' with me? I'ma snap with the heat, then you beat if they play with me, then it's why she's cold heart never sleep when it's beef, gotta eat Her. Niggas capping like they in these streets, they don't really want smoke, they don't be why I be Let me vent What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Why Not J, bro And as you see by that thumbnail and that title, I'll be showing y'all how I make my thumbnails Now, I know I've been going for like a month, bro I've just been busy, mad busy But man, I'm finna get back on the grind, for real, for real I just need y'all to go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, bro Subscribe if you're new And... If you ain't watch, if you missed some old videos, go back and watch them. I'm trying to get my watch time hours back. Let's get it, bro. But before we even start the video, the two things that you will need for this, two major things you're gonna need to get a good thumbnail. Really, three. You're gonna need a good picture. The apps you're gonna need, though, the only two apps I use are Fonto and Superimpose X. Those are the only apps I need. So we're gonna open up Superimpose X real quick. I'm getting straight to the point. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Three, two, one. All right. So I'm screen recording now. You're just gonna insert your, your picture in there and you'll put it as a 16 by nine. But once you got it right there, just click that, hit duplicate, right? All right, and then you're gonna mask it, cut everything out with the people inside. And you wanna make sure you got everything, like, you don't wanna. You want to make sure you got everything out. You don't want to leave stuff in there because it's going to show. And also, while you're watching this, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this now. Superimposed X does cost, I think it's $5. It's like $5. But it is worth it. You can make it. If you learn everything, just watch. I really I'm going to show you anything. But really, if you learn it and you just keep practicing, you can make your money back. Like $5. You can charge that for one thumbnail. And if y'all got any tips, y'all go ahead and comment and tell me what y'all do. And really, this cutting out part, this is the longest. Like, this is the longest thing that's going to take. It's cutting out. That's the longest thing about taking the thumbnail.
you want to straighten everything out, make sure everything's good. All right, and once you're cutting out, then you're going to use one of your little templates. And you can find these anywhere, really. You can just look them up, but if it's a certain one I got that you want, just DM me on Instagram, I'll give it to you. I'm going to use this one, the little circus lines. And then I'm just going to put it in the background for them. I'm going to fit it to the canvas. So I'm going to go to blend. String. And I'm going to lower it. It's like right there. You see, I messed up right here. Right. Then we're going to... You can really mask it, see? That's what I was saying. You want to make sure you get everything because it's going to show on the thumbnail. Now, you can really put it however thick or whatever, the lines you want, the outline. You can really have it at whatever you want. At first, I used to just leave it on default, which is 30, but I felt like that was just too thick. Then I used to put it on... 15 and now I'll go from like 6 to 10 somewhere around there But I try to have it like on an even number if that makes sense like a 10.0 9.5 somewhere around there All right, and now that that's done, I'll just go ahead and I'm gonna put some emojis in the background. I'm just gonna put the heart as emoji. Then I'm gonna move it. So right there, yeah. I'm gonna cast it and I'm probably gonna put the cast white. And then I'm also just gonna outline it. I'll make it that black though, and I'm gonna put it like four. Now I'm gonna use another thing that I got. I'm use this. And if you want this as well, just DM. I just made this on here. I might stick with the yellow to be honest. But if you want to switch the color, you just go to Colorize. We go to Editor Tools, Colorize. You go change the color to whatever you want. But I think I'm gonna get that yellow. All right, then you can cast them. I'm probably gonna do that white as well. Or I might do yellow just to do the same color. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the yellow. I didn't know what I was gonna do for a second. All right, and once you got that, I'm probably gonna throw, let me find it. Throw this on here. I don't like that part on it. I don't, I don't like that or the little, this, I don't know what you want to call this. And then what you want to do, once you got this in here, go back to editor and go to desert. I hit bump and I put mines on 25. And then you just gonna mess with the circle. Get it wherever you want it at, I'm gonna put this one. I think that's good. All right, now 
I'm gonna go into. I'm not done with this, but I'm gonna go ahead and go into Fonto, and you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get my letters right. Get my what the things. Hold up. All right. Now with Fonto, I just got this blank thing. I'll show y'all. I just got this right here. And I just put my words on it and I save it as a PNG and it goes straight right there. I don't have to cut it out or nothing. If you want that as well, just DM. Now, what was it called? You just gonna put the title of your video on the thumbnail. Then go back into the app and just click it and boom. And you can just put it under that. You can do it really however you want. You can put it wherever you want. I'm gonna put it over. Go back on here. Take that off. Now, like I said, I'm not done with this thumbnail. They want me to put a female in there or something. Go to this little PNG I got. I'm gonna put it behind them. So you can move the layers. That's what I'm doing, just moving layers to where I want them at. Now I'm gonna take the picture. I'm just gonna put it under the layer. Put it in there, and then just cut the rest of this off. And it's alright if you mess up in the inside because you just hit restore, and you go right back inside of there. And apart from that, I just want it right here real quick. Alright, I'm gonna see where I find it at. Now with this arrow you see it's not a PNG, so you just go to blend and I just hit multiply. I'll move it, but I'm gonna flip it. And you just move the arrow where you want it at. don't want it that color but I might just go ahead and make it red so I'll just boom and then I'm gonna add one little cover on there just a little black skin cover that's really it then then I'm just gonna hit save and I'm gonna send it to him now that's really how you make a thumbnail. And I know this video might be a little fast and you might have to rewatch it. Or if you got any more questions, you could DM me. I'll show you, give you more details. If you want any of the templates I use, I'll send them to you, everything. But that's really just how I make the thumbnails for real. Just superimpose X. And I also use Fonta. But like this little thing right here, I could duplicate it. I'm just gonna show y'all this real quick. See how like the background just stand more, or I could just move it right here. You can really do whatever you want with it. And really, if you just like mess around in the app, mess around with the tools and everything, you'll learn it in no time. Look at some more videos. My boy D Mafia, he even helped me out some. Like he gave me some tips and everything. But yeah, y'all just go ahead. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Though this is the end of the video, but make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bro, to 10K, bro. And tell me what y'all think of this video. But anyway, road to 10K. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. 
Follow me on Instagram at YNIJ if you haven't, and I'm out. Know that I'm gonna go. Block on my waist, you reach it, then you gone. Huh? What? 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 Real shit gon' make me kill shit. Fucking with the man, it's not these niggas hit the kill switch. You ain't really with the shit before five, you get hit with it. Daddy told me, stand my ends and watch the niggas you call your friend. What? I don't got no friends, I got choppers for many men. Draco flipping shit, you hit him.